Hey everyone, a nerdy Mark here, and it's time to go over episode six of Ultraman Blazar, which is titled The Something. The Invading Aurora. Now, I have to say, uh, I was contemplating recording this in the laundry room of my apartment complex with like my shirt off because I thought that would be hilarious to review it. But then I realized I have a new property manager and we have security cameras in the laundry rooms and around most of the communal areas. Um, and I didn't want to uh, set a bad first impression on them. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to be in my normal area to record in my apartment, not shirtless in the laundry room. But man, ugh, I really was going to do that. Um, obviously, for those who don't know, that's what happened in this episode because we are getting... Uh, even though we're six episodes in, um, I didn't talk about the special episode. It was good, but, you know, going over the kaijus and everything else, and some foreshadowing for stuff that's going to happen in the show. But this was continuing some, you know, more dive into the team members. This time was uh, Yasunobu, who was kind of like, you know, their, 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 their dude, their tech guy, their maintenance guy, their handyman. And the main gist was, you know, he's overworked. He's working too much, not taking a break, not taking care of himself. And it's one of those things where they're trying to get Captain Gento to, you know, talk to him. And the sex, he's, he's spreading himself thin. Um, it's no secret, I tell everyone, if you've seen my Ultraman rankings, I'm a huge Ultra 7 fan. So having the alien cannon show up, like, this made me so happy. Because I am such a huge fan of Ultra 7. I love that we have this returning alien coming back. Um, so the thing is, you know, their world is basically being destroyed. They have this Aurora gun and basically they are bringing out the negative emotions of machines and they're coming alive. Uh, the main gist of this is, uh, Yasu, who well, that's what I would say, cause I don't want to say his name the whole time, um, is basically doing his laundry, talking to his watching machine, which is Kururu, which is, you know, he talks to this and that and, this alien tries to recruit him because the alien cannon wants to take over all. They want to shoot their beam and take over all the world and all the planet and all the, you know, machines coming alive. Their main thing is they want to control Earth Garon and they want him to take over as the pilot. And to prove what's going on, they, they actually turn his dryer against him to show its negative emotions and... I thought that was a cool concept. It was the first time we have, you know, well, not the first, but it's like, it's nice to have an episode where there's no kaijus as the main villain. We're getting into more lore. This is a nice callback, like I said, to Ultra 7, which you do a callback to Ultra 7 and anything. I'm instantly like, that's my favorite. Thank you. Um, so this time around, Earth Ground is taken over. So we get Ultra Blazar to fight Earth Ground. And we had some good good action in there, uh, fighting in, like, you know, because they're grown big. They're fighting in, like, a little lake. Um, so I want to say from a visual standpoint, uh, you know, suit actors, this and that, like, having the splashing of the water and the suits actually wet looked really good, really clean and HD. Liked it a lot. Um, so the reason why this delayed is also, I you know, I watched the, the dub and the sub version. Um, I didn't. I wasn't fully paying attention for the subversion because I just got my new computer finally, my replacement. Um, well, not my replacement. I built my replacement. There's a difference. And I was like, you know what? I, I glossed over the subversion while it was airing. I was running and doing some other things, getting ready for the Tokutonic Shift stream over on Zio Agito's channel. And so my main thing is I watched the dubbed version and paid attention to it and got to multitask. But still, there was a lot of... Uh, the fighting was really good. Uh, they keep coming up with these creative ways for Ultraman Blazar to use, throw his spear. This time he's, like, his legs stay planted, his torso twisted. You could see the twist in it and then threw it because the aliens were trying to escape at a propellered lighthouse. Uh, one of the cool things was, you know, because uh, Yasunobu talks to everything. He talks to Earth Garon and this and that. While Earth Garon's under his control, he gets in the crossfires. He's falling off the top of this lighthouse before they escape. And he's calling out for Earth Garon, and Earth Garon actually saves him. And even later on, he chalks it up as, well, either Earth Garon actually listened 
and saved him or it was a malfunction. So I'm like, okay, I do like the seeds. I don't know if it's a long-term seed planted, but I do like the idea that the machines have negative thoughts, th negative emotions, positive. Like that's a cool concept that if, even if it's a one-off just for this episode, I still like that idea. Um, I will say that it's interesting, you know, six episodes in, it's still going to be 20. We have 19 episodes left, but I do like that. Um, there's this whole idea that these aliens aren't technically bad. It's because all these wars that kept happening on their home planet basically destroyed it. So now they're trying to find a new home and they, you know, it, it's all, so they're, they're, they're just like, they're, they're not overly like the bad guy, bad guys to an extent. So I don't really, you know. That's actually pretty neat. I don't hate that idea. Um, and what I was looking into, because I was like, did the, the Earth Cannon show up anywhere else at all? So I looked it up. They haven't since in like 26 years. So I was like, that's cool. I like that they came back. I like this new modern uh, look, but still very true to the original with the, the, the gold and like bluish dark colored stripes. The helmets. Like, I like how it's still like true to the original and i liked it a lot this was a really good episode obviously yasunobu because of the joke man when he was doing laundry and the alien showed up it you know uh i think it was herbie uh shot him with the ray gun and you know he thought something was on him so gratuitously took his shirt off and dude was ripped i was like damn i was like that's like an eight pack like wow I was like, dude's cut. I was like, all right, all right. That's, and, you know, I I saw the tweets. I saw how people felt when that episode was done airing. Okay, like, yeah. So all in all, it's a good episode. I really like the pacing. I'm really enjoying Ultra and Blazar right now. Um, I'm hoping, you know, down the road, if Mill Creek extends their deal with Subaru, this and that, like we get this on Blu-ray. Like they play so many ads during this for all the other shows and Blu-rays that are coming out in Japan. And I'm like, I want those. Um. So, uh, another cool thing is, just like everything else at the end, we have Gento and Yasunobu just sitting down and talking. He's doing his laundry. And he even says, you know, you, it's cool you talk and vent to machines, but you can talk to us too. Let us know. Don't, don't. And it, it's, it's nice to get this story for each character and their personalities and how they are. And then putting Gento in as the captain and the leader, how, you know, he is adjusting to all these different characters so i really like that i think yasunobu is probably one of my favorite characters on the show so i'm really curious how this is going to continue did you watch episode six of blazar let me know in the comments below what you thought um i'm looking forward to next week's episode i'm just and what other kaijus we're going to get in the future i'm really enjoying this and i actually like reviewing this every week so i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video